welcome back to another video on Fortress Craft Evolved. So, today what I need to do is I gotta get advanced power. Just gonna start that. I don't have enough stuff in there right now, but let me show you what's going on. So as it stands, since uh, all my upgrades, this thing is still going. 257. It's still up to 58. So it stopped deploying. Oh no, it is deploying again. Alright, so we started deploying. It's just going incredibly slow because it's got... Oh, hello. Because it's got no power. This thing is running as best as it can run. That one's doing the same. It's just... It's not enough is what it is. It is just not enough to do it. At all. Now we're up to 267. And we lost out on... Well, not lost out, but we placed a bunch more. Point is, I need more power for that to work. And we come over here. Since I've upgraded, uh, this doesn't have enough power. So it's not heating up. It actually hasn't smelted any lithium. And uh, this one's going just fine. This one's just sitting here. Idle. It's not doing anything. But this one doesn't have enough to go. So I need more power. No matter how I look at it, I'm stuck right now where I need more power. So yeah, I mean, it's going. I need iron gears, so I'm just letting it run for the moment. But what I got to do now is just sit here, craft up a bunch of pods, and get this advanced power to go. It's going to be a minute, but... Eventually, it'll get through. Alright, fingers crossed that I get what I'm looking for. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 alright. Now, there's two of them to choose from, so we'll grab them. Let's see, what else did we get? That's it. I guess that's it. That's all I need right now, anyway. Oh, it gave it to me over here. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. Alright, alright, hold on, though. Oh, look at this one. Tin plates. Oh, wait, that's MK1. Where's the other one? Oh, hold on. Hold on. So does that mean, uh... Yeah, so that's my second one it gave me. To upgrade my MK1s. Huh. Okay. So, it's going to be... Titanium housings and secondary upgrade modules. Alright. And I'm still only stuck with the coal and richer. I haven't got whatever. I forgot what the next one was. Let's see if this will help the production of. Crafting. Ooh, man, everything's going on. Let's see if this will help. I don't know. Produce the uh, the rails going down more. That's what I'm wondering. All right. Well, I have no more rails, so that's a uh, one thing. And uh, that's really not needed anymore. We can put a crude lens because, well, I have lenses. Now that thing's pumping out 50, which is more... I mean, I know, it's 64 I believe that this thing pumps out, right? 64, yep. So, that's, uh... That's almost the whole thing. <laughs> There's not much left after that. Still drains it, but I'm sure it's faster than what it was. Yeah, I'm already done on it. Yep. So, all right, I need more, I need more rails to continue that. I was thinking, I'm kind of, I'm screwed in here. What I need to do? Your base is under attack. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. What I need to do is set this up. 
Uh, I'm not too sure. Anyway, this thing's going to be all temporary in the end now because I've realized it needs to move. I don't have another pyrothermic generator, do I? I'm hoping if I just add one, it'll be good. Oh yeah, yeah, I've lost. I'm not, I'm not prepared for this. Nope, I knew this was going to happen though. I did know. Once I was sitting there doing the uh, the upgrade. Yep, I knew that this thing was going to make it, so I got uh, those heavies, and I was going to be unable to actually defend them. But it's fine. I'm not doing no hardcore. I don't even know what happens actually if I when I lose like that. All right. Hopefully, having two of them running is enough to power. Yep. What about this guy? No. Still not enough. Alright. Come on. There we go. So. I gotta bring in... Oh, it's because it's on this one, huh? Yeah, that's the problem. I just, I'm drawing too much power to have three of them running. So that one's going fine. This one is not. It's working now, though, at least. So two is not enough. I think I gotta go to three. Which... I could put a turning base there and then another. I could put a hopper here with another pyro there. I'll try that, see if that works. All right, so temporarily, I had to set it up like this because uh, I started getting some hopper and conveyor belt mixes. We have three generators running, and that is enough to power those four. However, I got to come out here because I don't know where it would have went. Right there. All right, good. So it made it through the first conveyor setup. <laughs> All right, and it didn't keep going, did it? Nope. Alright, so now we're good for now. Definitely not ideal, does not look good, but it's going to keep production rolling while I'm still setting everything else up. Meanwhile, this thing's rolling now. It's good. Once that's good, I think we'll be focused on uh, Tier 2 ores set up before I worry about reconstructing that. Yeah, yeah that's what's going to end up having to happen. Having to happen? Yeah, that. Mm-hmm. All right, let me uh, let me situate some things, and we'll be back. All right, so I've set it up so that this one is starting to lay out the racks down there for the titanium. The nickel one is all set. The uh, basic cargo lift is on its way down. Now it's time to go down there and set this up. Hopefully, I can successfully get down there. So what I've been doing is I'll do one of those. And then I'll wait a minute, and then I'll... There we go. And I'm good. Ah, yeah. I finally figured it out how to get down here without dying every single time. Alright. So, this thing needs at least 600 to go. Hopefully, I can have it backed up so that it gives me the 600 like that. Actually, we can make this thing even look a little bit nicer this time. I'll have that one going like so. That one going like so. Then this guy will be like that. Right? So that'll be three, 300. Right? But we gotta bring it up top as well. So if I put down that hopper, after the bottom set is full, I would imagine it'll go up. You know what? Maybe they'll just share. Let's try that out. Let's see if that even works. Hopefully they just share. That'd be nice. Oops, wrong keys. Alright. And there we go. And that'll start. Oh wait, that ain't even gonna work. <laughs> uh, 
Well, maybe they'll just shear in general. We'll, we'll try that out. We'll see if they just shear. After this thing fills up 600, it'll eventually go. Which, you know what? I'm going to help it out for this shot. All right, we'll make it we'll make it go a little faster. There we go. So now I know that it's uh Wow, it really did. It sucked everything right out of him. All right, good. Now what do we want? I want to do uh a little more. 18, 17. Is another ten, three, two, and one. All right. So now it's gone. Hopefully, these things start to shear. Oh yeah, it is. It's shearing. <clears throat> now I know it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to get an even one hundred all the way around. But it's going to be close. It'll it'll get it really close. Nice. So it should at least get up to like 900 or so, which should be enough to uh, make that work. Alright, good. So that's all set now, except for the fact that this is mining out way faster than it can export. And there's still a little gap. So let's try this. Alright. So now I think I'm pulling out about as fast as I can go with conveyor belts, anyway. Which still doesn't do me too much, because I know this thing's going to pump out way more than I can pull out at any given time. And these guys will just fill up. Good, good. That's all set. I like that. That's set up now. Now i got to head up top. And set up the uh, export for the nickel. All right. So now that it's up here, next order of business is to set this guy up. Crap. This guy. Oh, I didn't even go enough. Oh, crap. I went too much. <laughs> There we go. All right. So what I'm going to want to do is set this thing up like uh, so. Right. And we'll have a remove and an add. And I'm going to leave it pretty basic for the moment. And... So I gotta figure out exactly how I want to set up a nice area for this. Now, now here's the tricky part. I gotta set up this. I could do it like that, but I'd like it to be quicker. Could go like that. I could do 300 at a time, I guess. No, I don't want that. I want to have the 600 offloaded immediately. Yep. I want 600 offloaded right away. And I think that would be best. Alright. Something like that will do. Alright, good. I like that. Now, I think what I'm going to do... Again, I'm going to have to worry about power another time. But for the moment, I'm just going to set it up with uh, just one pyro right over here. Which Oh, crap. I didn't even get a pyro. i got to go build one or craft one up really quick. But, let's see... Nope, not that. Well, I mean, I could just steal it from there. That's how we'll do it. We'll just steal it from this this spot for now.
Yep. And then I just add this guy. And then I gotta add, get a pyro and put that in there. And that should get that running for now. Oh man, that thing's already back. Yeah, it's working real well down there. That thing's back already. It's got 600. Yeah, I didn't even start smelting yet. This thing's just starting to come up to temp. I had them backwards, of course, like normal. And there we go. We're we're all set for uh, nickel. Nickel is on its way for production. Awesome. All right. Well, that is all the time I have for this one. I'm Ami Der. That's that. And I'll see you in the next one. Later. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe with the channel icon in the middle of your screen. The newest upload to the channel to your top right. And the playlist for Fortress Craft Evolved to your top left. At least Nickel is all set. This is good news for me.